Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to see what are the trending interview questions that are asked whenever you are going for a Tableau interview or a Power BI interview. So if you are someone who is planning to attend interview or if you are someone who is attending interview, then this video is definitely for you. Because often it happens that, you know, in every interview that we go, there are certain questions that are asked in Tableau and there are certain questions that are asked in SQL as well. So we need to be very you know, proficient in both of this. So let us see what are the you know commonly asked questions and uh, in 2023 and we'll try to master that. So let us get started without wasting much time and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. The first important or very commonly asked question is what is primary key? Okay, now many might know the answer, many might not know the answer, you know, it depends. But still, let us cover this. What is primary key? Primary key is something that is unique in nature or it talks about the column. Like say you are specifying on a, suppose we have a table called as select star uh, EMP table here. Okay. So in this EMP table, we will have a number of columns. Like say EMP ID we will have or in a department number we will have or salary we can have. Now, when we are defining or creating this table, there are certain constraints that we will apply on that each column. So, one such type is called as primary key here. Primary key is unique in nature, which means we are telling that this can this particular column that we are specifying or we are calling cannot have duplicate values. Like say I have a column in my table Aadhaar ID. Okay. Now we know Aadhaar is unique in nature. So we cannot have duplicate this thing. We have phone number as one column which is primary key. We cannot have you know a duplicate phone numbers in the same thing like that. So we have employee ID which is unique in nature and we cannot have duplicate employee IDs like that. So whenever you are defining, if at all you want that to be unique in nature and you do not want that to get repeated, then you can always define that as a primary key column. I hope this is clear now and whenever you go for interview, I hope you will answer this in very, you know, uh, crystal clear manner. Now next is what are constraints in SQL? One of the very important concepts in, you know, the SQL here. Constraints means what in general conditions. What are the conditions that you are specifying again on columns here? Okay. It's not like directly we will go and create a table uh, with the so and so column. Right. So we need to apply if we if we want to create a very good table, like uh, which is industry and acceptable a uh, table structure, then we there are certain constraints that we can use in that. Like say, you know, we have a uh, check constraint is there okay or you know we have a primary key unique constraint or not null constraint okay like this so what are these constraints this is specified that this is satisfies the condition check check constraint if you are specifying then it tells that you know whatever the condition that you are specifying in that it satisfies that condition the particular column so unique constraint means you are telling that you know it is unique in nature or that particular column is unique in nature not null means you are telling that you know that particular column cannot have a null value in that like say i have a date field here okay and i want to specify that this column cannot be null like say our order date is there ship date is there and all so while defining only i am clearly giving a statement that keep us this field cannot have a blank value. Then you can specify that as a not null constraint. So whenever you are entering a value or when there is no value coming in, it will throw out an error. Next is default. So what is the default value you want to pass when there is nothing in that? That is our default constraints. Okay. So these are the types of constraints that we need to remember whenever we are talking about it. Okay. So let us see what is the third question that is being asked regularly. And I think you will see this or hear this very often. Delete, drop and truncate. Okay. So now delete means what you are specifying what needs to be deleted. Like say delete from table name 
we are specifying a condition where a department id is equal to 20 so you can delete a particular record or you can delete the entire records in a table that is your delete command okay so whereas truncate means what here so delete and truncate are very similar here so delete will delete a particular column based on the condition you are specifying whereas truncate will uh, delete all the records from the table now what is here what is important here to remember is what is happening to your table that is what is important when you are talking about delete drop or truncate whether your table is remaining or only data is getting deleted or your table is also getting deleted based on that only these are being classified in delete it is only based on specific condition that you are specifying right truncate means all the records of the table now now i'm not talking i'm not telling that it will also delete your table no only the data in that it will remove. next is drops this will entirely drop your table with the data so directly it will do both the operations of delete and truncate like that so remember it that way and try to you know have a difference in each of this in your mind so that you know whenever you get this question you can answer it with precise and with confidence okay very important and very frequently asked this one okay so next is what is difference between group by and order by okay like say i want to find out how many you know male uh, employees are there and how many female employees are there in an organization if at all i want to find out count here now how can i do that select uh so let's say gender i have okay gender comma count of emp id from gender underscore table group by what group by gender now assume in this gender uh, column i have two records two types of records either male or female now what will happen for every record it will try to group by on this and it will give a count likewise i am take, taking an employee table here to show you the difference and we will see how it works here okay so let us see that and i am just running select star from emp table just to show you what the records that i have here and if i run these are the records i have now my intention is i want to find out how many employees are there in each department here okay so very simple question we'll try to answer it with respect to group by here now what i am doing what is the column that i need to group by my department number i want to find out and i want to find out count of employees okay so i am taking count of emp number okay and uh, from emp table group by department number now for every department how many number of employees are there it will try to count and give us the record that is group by department number sorry here now suppose if at all i want to sort this in a specific order then i will use order by command here order by uh, like say count of employee as uh, total i am writing okay uh, so i here i'll take i want it by descending maybe i'll just uh, do it like this yeah. now if i run this it is trying to sort that with respect to this particular column whatever the column that you are specifying that way now we have answered that in department number 30 we have got total six employees likewise in department 20 we have got five employees and three employees like that okay so very important we definitely need to understand what is group by and order by here group by is something that you want to group on a specified di dimension and order by is you are sorting them by the uh, order that you need okay so next is find the second highest salary now often in many interviews that you go 
you have heard that you know this type of question has come like second highest and the highest and all so today we'll talk about second highest salary how to get that now here i'm just trying to split this okay and uh, so what what will happen in this query is first this will get run suppose i have records like say 10 20 30 40 and 50 okay assume this is my salary now what will happen whenever i run this command maximum salary will get will be selected okay so which means what i'll get 50 from this okay so here i'm just writing it as 50 just to remember so from this i'm getting here now to this this is a result of this now this query will run and get the result now select max salary as salary from emp table now first 10 will come is 10 equal to 50 or 10 not equal to 50 true like that everything will execute it and we will get 40 here so this record will be picked 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 so 50 is equal to 50 so this record will be skipped now from these four records what is the max salary we have it is 40 so this is we got second max salary from the result that is how we can evaluate this simple select query so obviously you can write in multiple ways but i i thought this is the most easiest and you can definitely try for alternate approach so next is again one very tricky question that is asked in many interviews how many joints do i need when i have 10 tables this is one important question that is asked just to confuse you suppose i have two tables assume i have two tables a and b so how many joints will i make i will be making only one joint. if i have three tables i'll be making two joints if i have four i'll be making three so simply remember it as this so if he's taking how many joints i will need i can say n minus num one number of joints we need okay so how will you find duplicates in a table simple so using the same thing that how we have found the duplicates we can use this to find the duplicates in a table next is again find the second highest salary in each department again this is a little interesting so for that first what i'm doing is again i'm running select star from emp table okay to get the records we need now for each department that we have i need maximum record okay so you can try to do the same thing in your reporting tool whether you are using tableau or whether you are using power bi because often this is something that we can do in tableau also just try to replicate how we can do so that will just bring you hands on and what i'm doing is i'm using a simple rank function here okay so first i'm taking all the records okay and then i'm just using rank over this partition by department id and digit because with respect to department i need to rank my salaries and order by salary from emp table let us run this okay now observe what is happening here so for each department see here i have department 10 till here so for each department it is trying to give rank here one two three again for department 20 it is starting one two three okay now see here here we have a problem or an issue for fourth record and fifth record we got the same salary so in that what is happening here the salary is repeated now we might need to use a different types of different type of rank function to solve this but technically what is some uh, that that we need to understand here is how it is generating this rank for each department so i will use a dense rank here okay and i'll simply try to run it again 
Now observe the difference. What will happen when we have same record here? Now, see here. Same we got. Okay, or maybe rank. Uh, we need to use, I think, rank unique here. Maybe rank unique is not there. Okay, so that way we can sort and on top of this, if we apply, like we need second highest rank is equal to two, then we will get the desired result here. Okay, from EMP where RN is equal to two. Or maybe you can specify the column and you can execute. So whenever you execute that, you will get the second highest salary from each department. Now next is find all departments of department template. Then here, all employees of a particular department. So this can be very simple question, but still some fail to answer this. So again, I'm taking EMP table here. So here we need to specify so interviewer will just check how we will write a basic query here. Select star from EMP where department number is equal to 10. That's it. Or he might ask you to pull the record of a specific employee. Like say, I need all the records of employee name called as Clark. How will you write? Like that. So we need to use a where condition and this thing. Now again, one common uh, question that was asked many times is how will you update or swap gender like say all males should be swapped with female and female with male how will you do that so for that we can write a simple statement called as update table name we need to specify the column here assume gender is my column and in that i have male and female now what i'm doing i'm writing a simple case statement to fix that case when gender is equal to male, then female. When it is female, then male. End it. So like that, we can write and run it. And whenever we do that, automatically, all the genders will get swapped with male and female. Okay, so that is how we can answer this most important uh, questions that are being asked these days in interview. So do start your preparation from this and maybe you can focus on more. I'll just try to come bring up with more uh, SQL interview questions. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and have a good day.